Welcome, Francesca Garola. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you for taking the time to be part of these conversations. Let's begin with a little bit about yourself and your, your work as a playwright and a dramaturg. Tell us about your what you've been doing. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm, I'm an author. Mm, for me, not only a playwright, but uh, an author in general and uh, a dramaturg, of course. And uh, I'm a part of uh, artistic direction of a little theatre in Milano, Teatro I. So, <laughs> I have uh, many rules <laughs> in my life. <laughs> yes, I, at the beginning, I studied um, direction in, uh, in Milan, Accademia d'Arte Drammatica, and I started to work uh, immediately after this uh, Accademia, but like a director or assistant director, and then I, I tried to, to connect my, my passion, yes, of course, uh, my passion for the theatre, but uh, only for uh, for the writing, for writing, because uh, because because uh, before I wrote uh, often, <laughs> I loved uh, very much uh, write, but uh, I didn't uh, connect these uh, these things, the theatre and uh, yeah. write, but not mix it. I don't know why, yeah. and. Uh, at the same moment, I I thought, uh, oh yes, maybe I can uh, I can do <laughs> everything but uh, together, <laughs> and so and so yes, this is my my profession. Were you working on a project when the uh, lockdown was first imposed? And tell me what happened. How you experienced the suspension of theatre at the beginning. I feared uh, a big silence. I don't know. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Um, yes, big silence. Something of a, uh, a big calm. And uh, I said to myself, oh, uh, it's not. It's not uh, bad. No? I can reflect. I will. I will have um, time. And uh, I will, uh, I will uh, deep uh, my research because I, I thought that uh, there are uh, uh, there were uh, too much uh, noise, <laughs> no, <laughs> too much noise and uh, too much uh, frenetic uh, work every day, and uh, and so I. Yes, it's not good to say so, but it's uh, true. And so it was, uh, and I, I was uh, happy, not for pandemic, of course, <laughs> but uh, for the time and quiet, yes. Um, but uh, then uh, I, I, I thought that uh, this time was uh, also empty, not only quiet. No? And so I exercised exercise myself uh, to watch better uh, what, uh, what was happening, mm? but, but not what was happening uh, in, in the world uh, about the, pan the pandemic uh, situation, or, but uh, uh, the, 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 the little things uh, in, in my life, no? the little things uh, in my city, um, <laughs> the little light <laughs> in the sadness, <laughs> no, in the ill, uh, in the illness, and so I, um, I, I started to write the little exercise, exercise of freedom, no, uh, not, uh, not, uh, not plays. Uh, not for the theater, but a uh, little exercise of writing about how much <laughs> freedom there is in the constriction. Because I think that uh, that often we think that the freedom is uh, to do to do everything we want, but uh, it's not uh, only this. No, um, the freedom for me, eh? <laughs> the freedom for me is. Um, 
is, uh, is to be able to uh, find also uh, what is hidden, okay? Because um, when, uh, when it's spring, <laughs> when it's spring like now, yeah. uh, there is something of a freedom also in the nature. No? I cannot control everything. There is very yeah. Uh, yeah, much freedom in this. <laughs> Have you any sense of what kind of theatre culture you would you hope will might come out of this you've spoken about the need to change what what would need to change for you um, i think that uh, it's necessary to think about a law for uh, for uh, who works uh, in this uh, in the theater no uh, i think so and I think that it's necessary to, to understand the different kind of theatre and, and uh, story of theatre um, and uh, rethink uh, how this different kind of theatre can, can be, can survive in the theatrical system. I think so. And I think another, uh, another thing, I think that more, uh, now it's uh, more more important uh, to think about the community not also the commun not only sorry not only the community of the theater but the community with the audience mm. because now we are very very worried about the audience i don't know if the the audience will be in the theater when we reopen the theater and i think that this is why, uh, why we uh, don't know our audience. <laughs> no, the audience is a, a mass, uh, not a big a bubble. <laughs> but the audience is a, is a mix of person, person, no, of individual. And in Italy, there is not. Um, how I can say, there is not uh, um, a research, maybe, I don't know, about the quality of the public. No, the public is the audience, sorry. The audience is only a number, mm. okay? 1,000 and maybe will be 100. Yes, of course, but <laughs> who are they? <laughs> Do you, do you, are you saying that the pandemic has shown that the relationship you have with your audience and also maybe with the wider community is, was not as, as strong as you thought it was? Uh, I think that there are different kind of public. Um, there is a Mm, an audience that uh, have uh, something, uh, no, there is an, an audience that uh, usually <coughs> go to the theater or go to the, uh, to the museum or uh, cinema, okay. Then there is another kind of uh, public that uh, is uh, the public of my friend. <laughs> you, 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 yes. And then there is a public that uh, we we don't know, no, we don't know, and I think that we have a, re a responsibility about this thing. If uh, the audience uh, doesn't know me, I am also resp responsible about this. Okay, so I I I said so. I don't think that uh, we have not we had not a stronger re relationship uh, with them. But, uh, but I think that uh, uh, they uh, are not only they, they are more. Yes. No? So for me, this is a really an issue in this moment, uh, like, uh, also like um, part of artistic direction of a theater I, I speak. Francesca, thank you. Tell me, uh, just to finish, 
Do you have plans now for your work? Are you able to imagine uh, new projects or are you still feeling that you have to wait and see? I, I hope <laughs> to, to go um, in France, uh, in France uh, La Cité Internationale des Arts, um, for a new project. I would have to to go to yes to go the the next uh, the last year, but uh, it was impossible. So I hope uh, now uh, I have uh, a project, but uh, <laughs> I I ask myself if uh, this this project is really the same project that I had uh, the last year. And I think that it's not possible. <laughs>